This is the five tech things you should know about episode number 24 for February 5th, 2010. Brought to you this week by Mosey.com. Jeffrey Powers here, and you are on the five tech things that you should know about for this week. It's a beautiful February, and we're going to get a good, good amount of snow here in about 24 hours. So it's nice and warm. 30 degrees is warm. It really is. So this is the five tech things TV Azine with the Association of Geek Azine, brought to you over on the blip.tv network. You can go over to blip.tv to check out our CES content over at techpodcast.blip.tv. Of course, if you go to Geekazine, you're going to check out all our CES content because we're putting it up very rapidly. Very just boom, 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 like that. And there it is. And of course, now we are on the techpodcast.tv network. So this is the vis- first video that will be up on techpodcasts.tv. So check it out. Tech Podcasts, if it's tech, it is here. If you don't back up your data, you're prude. If you don't back up your data off-site, you should start thinking about doing that right now. Mosey.com is going to help you out. Back up your whole drive of one computer for only $4.95 a month. If you get a one-year membership with Mosey.com you can and use that code that I'm going to give you right now, which is GEEK, you're going to save yourself 10%, which is about $50 a year. $50 is the price of a hard drive, 500 gigabyte hard drive right about now. So you're actually saving, uh, getting yourself a 500 gigabyte hard drive and more, and you're getting that all off-site and backing up your pictures, your, your videos, uh, anything that's your personal data you cannot recover if, if it's stolen, if, it's, if there's a fire. Use my promo code GEEK, G-E-E-K, and you'll get 10% off of all your needs for backup. And it's just as easy as leaving the computer on. It, it configures the, you configure the files and then it'll back it up at your convenience over the internet. Use that code GEEK if you get, and you'll get 10% off whatever plan you decide to use. All right, faster than Connecticut can get through the debate of how many yellow ribbons can they tie around the old oak tree Let's get into the five tech things you should know. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this. This is in Lichtfield, Connecticut. They can't put yellow ribbons around trees. I don't know why. We're going to start over on Flash. Now, of course, last week we had the big iPad announcement. Oh, iPad, it's here, it's here, it's here. No, it's here, it's here. Oh, anyway. Steve Jobs basically said, hey, there's going to be no flash on the iPad. And everybody goes, oh, I want a flash on the iPad. I wanted it. I wanted it. I wanted it. And Steve Jobs goes, you know, it's old and archaic, and HTML5 is going to come out. It's going to completely replace Flash, fi- flash at all. So right now, you just have to deal with fl- no flash on your iPhone, no flash on your iPad. There's, a lot of, there's still a lot of debate on that, and uh, whether that's going to happen or not, whether HTML5 can actually replace what Flash can do. There is a beta Flash player out there, and my understanding is that YouTube already uses some sort of HTML5 f- player in replace of its Flash player. So, will it replace Flash? Don't know just yet. I haven't really delved into HTML5. We're going to talk about that in the upcoming weeks, of course, because it's going to be very important in our production down the road. So HTML will replace Flash? We'll have to see. Will you need it on your iPhone or your iPad? We'll have to see. Just remember, there's always alternatives to the iPad, like this nice little Tegra uh, by ICD that we did an interview on over at CES. Just like the iPad, it might be a touch bit thicker and a slightly smaller screen. One gigahertz Tegra processor, it's got Four gigabytes on board with a with an expandable slot up to 32, just like the iPad. It can do 2G and 3G, just like the iPad. It can do cellular. It's got a camera, and oh wow, hey, it's got an FM radio in it, and it's got Android, so it can do Flash. Hmm, interesting. You might have had a problem with your Twitter couldn't get on, couldn't log on. Well, you know, that's because Twitter changed a whole bunch of passwords. Why did they change the passwords? Well, because they found a little breach on the site. Basically what happened was, if you visit torrent sites, it was actually a phishing scheme. 
Because they said, hey, link to your Twitter account. We will get you, we'll hook you up with the Twitter. And then you put in your username and password and they fish your password. And then they got into your Twitter account, which then they could get into your other financials. So Twitter just put the kibosh on it and changed all the passwords of the, of the usernames that were coming in from that IP address. So if you're using Twitter, you should check and make sure that your, your password is still the same password. If they did lock it out and change your password for you, all you have to do is say forget password, go to the email address, put in the link, and then change your password. Pretty simple like that. But uh, Twitter's course is doing this to protect you from all these fissures. Now, this does raise the question, what happens when you go to a website and says, hey, merge your stuff with Twitter, hey, merge your stuff with Facebook? you got to be kind of careful. And especially, I wouldn't be doing that with torrent sites. iPhone did an update. It's now version 3.1.3. And the big thing, of course, is if you have a jailbroken iPhone, if you use the Red Rain or the Black, black Rain, Red Snow, whatever, the, whatever the, uh, the jailbreak software is, if you update to 3.1.3, your jailbreak will not work. So you'll have to uninstall, do the update, wait for the new jailbreak, or not update at all. So, of course, 3.1.3 fixed a few problems, uh, improves the battery on 3GSs, it uh, gives third-party apps launch. Uh, they had launch problems, and of course, uh, this pro this uh, update fixes that. And then, of course, if you're using the Japanese Kana keyboard, it crashed before. Now it's going to fix it. So, if you don't use that keyboard, if you don't care about third-party apps, and you don't want better battery life, and you got a jailbroken uh, iPhone, maybe you shouldn't update. But otherwise, give it an update. Big news today is Monster gobbles up hot jobs. Yeah, it's uh, Monster buys hot jobs. Of course, we knew that was going to happen. Carol Bartz back in November said, hey, we're selling hot jobs. Yahoo doesn't want hot jobs anymore, the highest bidder. And of course, we knew that Monster was very interested in hot jobs, add to it. There was a lot of questions about whether there'd be antitrust issues. But I, I looked at the numbers. The reality is Monster does about 12.6 million users a month. Uh, getting getting them resumes out and getting them jobs. Hot Jobs is not going to add too much to that number. It's just going to be a name that, that enhances it. There's still a lot of other job sites out there. There's no issues with, uh, with com uh, competition out there, so it should be a good thing. However, they're expecting this merger to end by quarter three of this year. What does that mean for Yahoo? It means Yahoo's pretty much fallen to the, the wayside. Google's eyeing after Yahoo because they're an easy target because they, they took all their search to Bing. They've got, really, they've got their business division, and if their business division falters, Yahoo will falter, and then by this time next year, you'll see another company running Yahoo. Finally, what does Steve Wozniak and Toyota have in common? Well, apparently Steve Wozniak has been complaining to Toyota and saying, hey, there's an accelerator problem fix it. Recall your car, cars. Apparently Steve Wozniak's uh, Toyota Prius had a small problem with acceleration when he used cruise control. It would accelerate to 97 miles per hour. I wonder how many speeding tickets that gave people. Well, you know, finally Toyota has listened up. and This has been a while since uh, Steve Wozniak has been saying, hey, fix this. Toyota has uh, found the problem. They're recalling a whole bunch of cars to fix the accelerator problem. If you have a Toyota Prius, you might want to check to make sure if you're on the recall list because this is very important, especially if you're using cruise control. Because I use cruise control a lot, especially in safe zones. I'll use cruise control in a 25 mile per hour zone so I don't go past 30 and I don't get a ticket. And of course, if it just shoots up to 97 miles per hour, you kind of freak a little bit, just, just a little bit. I know I would. And that is the five tech things you should know about. My name is Jeffrey Powers, www.geekazine.com, tvazine.com. And once again, check us out at the new techpodcasts.tv. And you can get all that cool stuff. Check out the site over at geekazine.com. And until next week, this is the five tech things you should know about. Take care.